This is amazing. Now we're going to see about Llama file from Mozilla. If you want to integrate AI into your application, this is one of the best options. This helps to run your AI or the large language model in a server. It is cross-platform, which means it can run on Windows, Mac OS, or Linux on other machines. Llama file makes CPU inference faster, which means it increases to 30 to 500% faster. You can run that locally and privately on your computer or on your server. You can run that in a small device such as a Raspberry Pi or a large devices with AMD processor and you get 2400 tokens per second and with Intel Core i9 400 tokens per second. Ultimate goal is to run a large language model on a customer grade CPU. And on the right we have the new version. It's like bam, 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 bam. Huge night and day difference. It's already summarizing it in the old version. It's like nowhere close. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone. I'm really excited to show you about Llama file. You are able to run a large language model with just a single file. It has fast CPU inference. You can run it locally and privately, cross-platform compatibility, open source and community driven, integration with Hugging Face, optimized for various hardware, no cloud dependency, performance on par with GPUs, and support from Mozilla. I'm going to take you through step by step how you can install and run this, how you can integrate this in your own application, and finally, how you can use the existing models which you have downloaded from Olama and LM Studio. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so that this video can be helpful for many others like you. So how this is different from other providers such as Olama. You can see our goal is to make open LLMs much more accessible to both developers and end users, which means it's being compatible with multiple operating systems. And at the back end, you can see it's using Llama CPP. So even Olama, LM Studio, Jan AI, all these tools and softwares are using Llama CPP at the back end. But one key difference if you see, LLMs down to single file executable. So in Llama file, you don't need to download multiple files. You just need to download one file and then you are able to run your large language model. And here it says you can run that locally on most computer with no installation. So first we are going to see how we can install and run this. So in this we are going to use Llama 3.1 8 billion parameter model. I'm going to download that locally on my computer. I'm using Mac M2. So installation is just easy. Just download one file. So if you go to files, you can see those file. You just need to download one file, what you want to use. Q stands for quantization. If you have larger CPU, then you can go for higher quantization. If you have smaller GPU, then go with small quantization. Higher the quantization, the quality of the response will be higher. I'm in my terminal now. Here I'm going to type wget and the path to the file. So here I'm using quantization 6k, which you can see here. You can even just click it and download directly from here. But in my case, I'm using wget command. After this, click enter. I will provide all the command, all the code in the description below. This will automatically download the model to my local folder. It's just one file. Now it got downloaded. After this, you just need to type this command, chmod, meta llama, and the file name. That's it. This will make this file executable. That is step number two. After this, just run dot slash meta llama and the file name. That's it. After this, click enter. This will automatically start the model. That is Llama 3.1. And it will automatically open this user interface in this URL, port number 8080. So now I can ask any question, such as who created you? Now it's generating me the response. I was developed at Meta. That is good. So our model is working now locally and privately. Now we need to integrate that in your application. Now it's step number two, integrating in your application. Let's create this terminal running and then let's open a new terminal. In this terminal, I'm going to create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside the file from OpenAI, import OpenAI, then client equals OpenAI. And here we are providing the base URL. That is localhost 8080. That's where our server is running. Then providing the API key, that is a fake API key. And then closing the brackets. Next, chat completion. Chat completions create. Here, as a user, we are asking a question. Give me a meal plan for me today. And the model name is Llama3. 
So even if you give any other name here, it will still work. Final step is to print the response. That's it. We are just assigning the base URL, asking a question to the AI and printing the response. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, pip install openAI and then click enter. This is the main openAI package. Now Python app py and click enter. And here is the response. So we asked, give me a meal plan for me today. And here is the response with breakfast, mid morning snack, lunch, dinner, as simple as that. You can also use post request that is request.post with the same URL with chat completions endpoint and ask the same question, give me a meal plan for me today and it will give you the response. In this, we are not using OpenAI package. Just without any package, you are able to run the same request. You can also add a user interface by using Praise in AI chat. Just pip install Praise in AI chat and then click enter. After this, export OpenAI API base like this and then click enter. Next, add a random OpenAI API key like this and then click enter. That's it. Now just type Praise in AI chat and it will create a user interface like this where you can go and change the model name to Llama 3.1 in the settings panel. After that, you can ask a question. Who created you? Meta created me. That is correct. Similarly, you are able to integrate this with your own application. Finally, I'm going to show you how you can use existing models from Olama or LM Studio. I'm going to stop this terminal by pressing Ctrl C and now it's stopped. For this, you need to download the main file. So I'm going to go to the releases. There at the bottom, you can see Llama file. I'm going to download this and unzip it. So now this got downloaded to my downloads folder. So if you unzip and go into that folder, there is a folder called bin. I'm going to open that. Inside bin, you have multiple files. The main file we need is llama file. So we need to move this to a different location. You can just manually drag and drop in that location or I'm going to use sudo mv and then the location of my llama file and then moving it to this location. That is user local bin llama file and then click enter. Now it is in this location. Now if I type llama file hyphen hyphen version, then it should show the version. Now first I'm going to go inside the Olama models and blobs folder in this location. That's where all the models from Olama got stored. Now I'm in that location. If I press LS, then you can see all the list of models here. So as a test, I'm going to copy this model and just type llama file hyphen M, then provide the name of the model and click enter. You can see the model which we used is Mistral 7B Instruct and it automatically opens this user interface where I can ask who created you. Now it says I was created by Mistral AI. Similarly, if I want to use LM Studio model, go to the main root folder, there is cached version and this location. This is where all your LM Studio models got stored. And here I'm using Meta Llama, which I have already downloaded using LM Studio. After this, I'm clicking enter. Inside that I can see this file there. So I'm going to copy this file, just the file name, then llama file, hyphen m, and then provide the name. Now the llama3 got loaded and it opens this user interface. I'm going to ask who created you. I was developed by Meta AI. That is correct. Now we learned how the llama file is different, how you can install run this, how you can integrate this in your own application, and how to run an existing model using llama file. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.